Assalamu alaikum, uh, Salam and greetings humans. I am, it's day three, yes, day three of Ramadan, and I wanted to talk about something that I couldn't find great information on, and that is the care and keeping of prayer mats. Um, I've had mine for about, when did I buy this? Five years, maybe? Um, yeah, five years. So, um, it's, it's been a while. And when I was looking, when I felt like I needed to clean it after I moved from, uh, spending a summer in Oregon back to Atlanta, I couldn't find great information. Now, I should have just looked at the tag on my prayer mat because there is one, like a care and keeping tag. And lots of things have tags. Shirts have these tags. Um, jackets, if you get a nice dress from somewhere, it has that tag. Um, so always, first thing would be always to consult the tag because that has information from the manufacturer, somebody who knows this fabric, this material, and what they really, and what they think really needs to be done to keep your prayer mat as healthy and wonderful for as long as humanly possible. Okay, so I'll show you my prayer mat tag on it says, okay, there are a few markings. This one, that shape, like a basin with water in it, indicates um, at what temperature you should wash it. So this one says wash at or below 40 degrees Celsius. This one is the ironing um, symbol, the second one. So it basically means that you can iron it only at a low temperature. The more dots you have, the more you can iron it. This triangle is bleach. The X through it means do not bleach it. This one is a dry cleaning um, circle and it means you can dry clean it in any solvent except tetrachloroethylene so avoid that one and then this one is if I remember correctly tumble dry do not tumble dry it and of course it says very clearly at the top hand wash so I would not put this in my washing machine and I'm not going to put this in my dryer the second thing is Pay attention to what your prayer mat is made of. I had a friend who had a prayer mat that was made out of a natural material. So not like, so it had threads that were of cotton, but it also had like some straw or thin sticks woven in. So I would never, ever submerge that one in water. That is a bad idea and a recipe for rot. Um, and it kind of depends like if your mine's really soft here and kind of like a very fine rug I guess um it's not like the carpeting I have in my room but it's really fine um and so if I got some crumblies on there you know vacuuming up vacuum them up is an appropriate response if I got, um, let's just pretend that ketchup somehow managed to get on my prayer mat. I would probably just wipe up as much of the ketchup with a dry cloth as I could and then rinse it really, really well. Um, but this one, it says to hand wash it. So when I do wash it, I submerge it in water with a really gentle soap and I actually grab the soap I like to use and it is the um, Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap Almond. I'm almost out. But that's great for a whole bunch of stuff including washing your prayer mats and washing your person. So that's the soap I use. When I want to do just a little bit of like a wipe down, um, just because it's starting you know, it's just been a minute. Maybe it's got little bits of 
fuzzies from the clothes that I've worn on it or whatever, right? So you just want to do a bit of a wipe down. You'll need a few things. You'll need a washcloth. You'll need soap. You'll need a container with water in it. Um, let me put that back over there. And I like to use an essential oil. I have this set. And they smell really good. And I personally like to use lavender. So in that big old thing of water, which is about four cups, or how many milliliters is that? Milliliters. That. Oh, about a liter. About. Um, I'll add, you know, four or five drops of soap and mix that in. And then, depending on what I want to use, if I'm using lavender, I'll use two to three drops of lavender and then take my rag and kind of squish it through. Okay? And then make sure you wring the rag out really, really well so that it's not sopping wet. Okay? And then. I'll just take my rug and I'll run it down like this, okay? In, always towards the front, so this is the front. So I'll always run it towards the front. Um, that's just out of habit. Now, if you're using a silk prayer mat, do not use oil, okay? You'll stain your prayer mat and then it'll always have this blotch on it. Um, also, even be careful with water and soaps. So again, really, really important is to look at the tag on your prayer mat. And if you don't have a tag and you just kind of have a guess at what sort of fabric it is, please, please, please go to the internet. The internet will tell you what is conventional for that type of fabric. Also, one of the most important things when keeping um, keeping your prayer mat healthy for a long time, do not step on it with wet feet. It is in your best interest to dry your feet because realistically we stand in pretty much the same place on our prayer mat every single time. And if you're always standing in that spot with wet feet, you are kind of pressing that water into the mat and then you're not drying it. You're just letting it sit in there. So it can mold, it can deteriorate, it can get really funky really quick. Even if it's not stinky, it can just harm the fabric, okay? Oh, and then after I do the, the wiping in this direction, I'll hang it up either on the back of my headboard if I'm in my room or, you know, on the back of a couch or something like that somewhere where it can dry and then flip it once because I'll do the front and I'll also do the... Nope, that's not the back. I'll do the front and I'll also do the back side because it sits on the ground and ugh, probably gets sticky. I'm sorry if this video was shaky. Again, I'm still dealing with my really precarious stack of books on my bed and I'm on my bed and I should really find a better setup. But I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to help, but I really think I really think the internet is a great place for you to start, especially if you know what fabric um, your prayer mat is. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video, inshallah. Toodles, humans.